What a crazy day. Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. It's Friday, and that, of course, means Star Citizen Live, AI and you, with many people from the AI team. Here's what you need to know in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Jared began by stating that they're aware that the servers are having issues and that they're working on it. He also said that none of the people on the panel had anything to do with servers, so don't be pissed off. Despite being told that, the chat was pretty pissed off, and it was actually pretty funny. I thought the comments for the majority were way off topic and salty, but it was also entertaining. The first question was about a long time bug having to do with sinking into chairs. They discussed it for over 10 minutes. They said that they've been aware of it for a couple of years now, and they described what's happening, but they said the issue was hard to fix, as it really had more to do with server timing. They ended that segment by saying that some of the known bugs cannot be fixed until more incoming backend systems are added. They actually said it would be a waste of time to fix them, as those things will be sorted out in the future with these new systems. AI are currently considered rudimentary, but they said that in the near future to expect more diversity in the actions, they went on to remind us that the first time AI actually was programmed to walk onto a ship was last year during CitizenCon. AI performance is severely limited to server performance, which was confirmed as being one of the reasons that NPCs still animate the way they do. They mentioned several times that AI are actually programmed to see from an FPS perspective with vision, resulting in a more realistic reaction to the situation. Ship NPCs also work the same way, where the AI pilot relies on the field of view to determine how they would react. NPCs also have skill levels baked into their character, but they said the longer they're tracking you, the better they become. That part was confusing, and even when I went back and watched it over and over, that's how I understood what they said and how it operates. They confirmed that there's a real balance between the number of AI and server performance. Too much load makes the server worse, which drops AI performance even more. The bartender was recently added and they said that they're working on what's called mess hall behavior to bring life to food courts. This includes NPCs that use a tray, they go get food, they sit down and eat, and then return the tray when done. They spoke about animating a person who would operate a dishwasher and other staff who would bring that food court to life. They mentioned that they were planning on adding random behavior, so some AI may be interrupted and get up early to add a little bit more immersion. They spoke for 10 minutes about Creature AI, and then they confirmed that they planned to add that in the future, but that it wasn't a priority. And then they confirmed that pets are planned and possible, but not a priority. The show was mostly on topic, but the chat was actually the star of the show. Not that I like to see people upset, but the creativity in the posting within the comments was actually funny. And that's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.